What's going on everyone? How's it doing? How's it going? We're playing a bit of session today. I'm gonna to show you the process of getting a trick for my montage videos. I wanna show you the whole process from finding the spot to filming the trick, getting the trick absolutely perfect, ready for a montage. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, leave a like, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to respond. All right, and let's get into this video. So most of you guys seem to be really enjoying my montage videos. I wanted to show you the process of getting the trick and give you a bit of appreciation into how difficult it is sometimes to get the perfect clip because it, it really can be super, super difficult, even on a simple trick. Oop. <laughs> so one of the first things I want to do is actually go back to the apartment, see if we can change it up a little, you know, perhaps a lot. Customization. Okay, so let's just get myself a nice little different colored beanie. I feel like it's a nice warm day, so we'll go for a uh, sausage party tea. Straight cut black pants and standard shoes. Change up my deck a little bit as well. All right, got a fresh new look. It's very nice. Sometimes it's so hard not to double flip. It's uh, one of those things about this game. The timing is really crucial. The timing is really critical in this game. Otherwise, you'll always overflip your board. Um, I'm going to head down to St. Andrew's Church. You know? I wonder if that's a good double grind spot. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Try again. Okay. All right, so I'm probably gonna like five her, and then oh yeah, that's that's a spot. Oh look at that dip, dippity nippity! I'm literally scraping the nose. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see if we can get a proper double ground on this spot. So I'm gonna go for a back five her to front nose grind. Beautiful. Hell yeah, boy. Dude, tray flips in this game look so fucking good. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. This is a cool spot. So let's see how that goes. Ooh, shove it, shove it, 5 0 revert, yeah. Maybe on the second stair, I'm not sure. <laughs> Damn, son. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna revert out. I'm just gonna rotate out this time. Just a little little 90 rotation. Ah, come on, G. Damn, thin. Ah. Ah, close. Damn. <laughs> I was trying to do a, a switch 360 flip afterwards and it always ends up being a double varial flip. <laughs> Something like that. All right, so let's see how that looked. So the front shove was pretty good. The back foot kind of glitched a little bit, but it looks pretty good. The five is locked in perfect. No tail scrapage. And then we got our revert right at the end there. Ew, the revert looks a little bit average. Yeah, okay. I'm going to see if I can try and get it a little bit cleaner. 
So often in this game, if you want if you want the trick to look as perfect as you want it to look, you'll need to compromise a little bit, change up the trick a little bit to make sure that the animation is going to work well. Oh, that could have been the one. What was that? It was just to shove it, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was literally a big spin that just tripped me out. Oh, I went the wrong way, but it looked pretty good. Yeah, bummer. I should have got that left tap. Left tap a tapper. And I keep doing that too. It keeps going into nose money. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, so that looked pretty good. Shove it. The 5 0 locked in a little bit weird, so we'll, we'll go one more. I don't think that was the one. I really don't like how it's coming off the edge. Yeah, fuck that. See, there's so many little things that I, I feel like I work on and nobody really notices. I'm gonna keep going for that back salad because it looks way better. Is that clean? clean. I reverted the other way, but shit, I might take it. Yeah, that looked pretty fucking good. Okay, so now we go into our replay editor. So I hit back again to get into the replay editor. Now we can set our starting and ending points. So clip start and clip end just after the switch tray. We'll zoom into that. Alright, so... I want to get a nice field of view for this one. I'll probably go for the 120 field of view, make it look a little bit fisheye. All right, and we're in, we're going to be in free camera. What's the best way to approach this? Maybe, um, maybe a run in from the gutter. Yeah, that could be cool. Okay, so I'm going to start like here. Um, so we've got our camera position key, first one there, and we're going to just fast forward until we get to the point that the shove it is about to happen, and we're going to be zooming forward like this, to about there, and then place another interpolated camera, now we've got our shove it, so we want to follow the skater, and make sure that it's fully in frame. So I like to show off the angles. Very nice. Okay, let's see how that looks. Nice. All right, that's the clip. There we are, ladies and gents. Excellent. All right, so that was the process for one clip. Um, as you can see, it's not the most insane trick, but 
It's super realistic. It looks bloody good. No animation fuck-ups. Everything looks perfect to me, so I'm pretty happy with that. So keep an eye out for my new montage. I'll be releasing that very soon. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do anything more like this. I'll be happy to show you the process of other tricks, much more difficult tricks, of course. Um, they can take hours and hours to land and film and get exactly the way that you want it. So I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Bye.